Yeah, let's go. Uh, see who goes first, real quick. I have my third favorite way of deciding who goes first, which is flip the card around. So to whomever the top points. Hey, you got it. That'll work. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Wait, is this my first time on tonight? No, no, second time. I played against Jace earlier. Since I, uh, I wasn't on the feature matches during the tournament. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. Bop. Let's see. Ooh, hi. What do you say? Um, uh, you have to cast it on the spot. Yeah, I guess I'll uh, keep this, yeah. Yeah, same. Oh, that's still pretty good. Okay, um. <laughs> that's a fucking cool commander. I'll do uh, Dust Bowl. Yep. Playing. Oh, I forgot um, to take the root from last turn. It's on it. Ghost Fireblade. Oh, hi. Yeah, that's good. Uh, it doesn't. Okay, cool. Yeah. It's the equip cost oh, that gets that made cheaper. Ornithos, Mox Opal. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> well, that means you can equip the Ornithopter now. Yeah, equipped it and then it's a 2-2. Two, two. Yep. And, um, I'll oh, it's a 2-4 actually. It's a 2-4. Yeah, oh yeah, it's a 2-4. Let me see your graveyard first. And I'll pass turn. Okay, well that happened. <laughs> yeah. That happened, folks. That was one turn. I'm gonna play a Finhorn Elf, but first I'm gonna have to fetch for a Temple Garden, so I'll be at 17, and then I'll pass the turn. Well, that was quick. I'm going to. Oh, that was quick. Yeah. Right there on the bottom. <laughs> yep. All right, I'm good. You can go. All right. I'm gonna untap. All right. Untap um, Oh, is that non-land hermit? Yeah. Fuck me, I Chase, I feel the joy of not reading the card, or at least not remembering. <laughs> I'll read the card, so forget what it does, slightly. because wow. absent-minded <laughs> professor. Okay. Also, I'm playing on Chase's mat, and you're playing on my mat. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm going to do a Ghost Fire Blade, equipping yeah. it too, so oh, it's a 4-6 it's a four six. Six. Yeah. flyer. Hi. That's a, that's a thing, folks. That's a thing. <laughs> And I'll pass to you. Okay. How much would this cost? Because I know there's a couple of pricey ones in here. Like, ch yeah, that's the yeah, that's, that's the big one. What is it? Two hundred? Oh 300? God. Oh, I don't. No, it's, I don't I know. know. It's there. I don't want to know. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Well. Let's see. Blah 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 blah. <laughs> Wait, do you have seven more cards in your graveyard? Uh, we're going to say. Shock. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, can I respond to you? All right, on this? so green, white, blue. Janara, Asher of War. She's a 3 3 flyer, and I can pay mana to put a counter on her. Okay. Cool. Pass turn. Okay. On tap? Yep. All right. So, yeah. Draw. Yeah. She's all right. She's okay. Yeah, I got You're, you're kind of stuck on mana, but <laughs> you have a 4 6 flyer. Yeah, I do. So, there's that. Um, Swing with her. I guess I'm going to pay one, one Chalice of the Void on uh, one. Uh, fine. Yeah, it resolves. And I swing two, four. Okay, I'll... In here. I'll have to be alright with that. One, two, three, four. I'm at seven. Yes. Alright. Goes nothing. Oh. Snap. And, uh, oh, crackle. Yeah. Pop. Okay. Yep. Alright, breeding pool. Go to five. Alright. Bruh. Ah, crap. That's fine. It's whatever. Um, we are going to start our turn off. Sure. Whatever. It's done. It's done. Um, it's a four six. Pastor. Okay. Draw. Three less, not five less. Yep. No, I have to still pay. Mox Opal. Yep. Oh, it's legendary, so. Oh, you, sorry. Yeah, you I can float know. mana first and then play yeah, it. Yeah, I'll float a mana. So that's one Mox Opal. Yeah. Two. <laughs> to play, um. Steel Overseer. <laughs> oh, hi. And, um. um yeah, that's a card, alright. <laughs> that's a. That's a card if ever oh I've seen one. Right? Uh, <laughs> this is at least a 
Yeah. Okay, that's good. Yeah. You it, you can proceed. Okay. Uh, I will swing forth. Okay. I'm going to put a counter on Janara. Okay. Put a counter on Janara. I left my box in the car, so I don't have counters. But she has two counters on her now. Here, I got this. So it's a five. It's a five five. Gotcha. So we're just going to bounce off each other. Your four six and my five five are just going to bounce off each other. Yep. All right. All right. All right, that's good? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. Judge. I'm going to pretend I didn't hear the word judge just now. I'm going <laughs> to just save myself. No, it's fine. You heard judge? No. What? No, no. But if there's a rules question, sometimes I get called over. Um, rules, rules advisor, but not, not the same thing. And I haven't even done that in ages, so, mm. you know, it doesn't actually matter. Um... Then, um, how, what's the, what's commander damage before you lose? Commander damage 21. 21 kills you. 21, I like that. How about? Nope. Uh, look at my cards. Vincer, Bouncer, Still Overseer. It's a, yep. Okay. It comes into play, return her spell or permanent to its owner's hand. So it's just in your hand. Right. And uh, last turn. On tap? Sure. Yep. Do a land. Yep. Wasteland. Um, you indeed do a land. <laughs> do a land. Do a land, do a land, do a land, land, land. Okay. That's so I'm, I'm real. I'm You're real corny. clever. You're very corny. I like it. Uh, I, now that I've had a kid, the dad jokes, they just flow out. They flow out? Yeah. Is that is that how you get them unlocked? I like, suppose. Are we all born with them? It's just like <laughs> you, you can't have them. You can't like say them until um, you have a kid. This isn't even my final form. I'm sorry, your Vegeta shirt. <laughs> I'm, I'm, it's over nine thousand. Yes, indeed. When you become a dad and, and you have a kid, you achieve your final form and can and can pun like no one. <laughs> I'm just waiting yeah, for Vegeta to say the dad joke. Yeah. Hey, Vegeta. 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 <laughs> I'm going to pay two for right. Umazawa's Jite. Oh, God. And um, I'm going to not equip it because I don't have the mana. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to just bounce off each other again. Oh, yeah, you don't have the mana. Yeah, I'll, I'll block and we'll just, yeah. Right. Yes. Yeah. Oh, hi. Oh, hi, Lisa. Okay. Okay. One, two, three, four. Blue, blue. Mm -hmm. I'll cast opposition. I just turned into Tommy Wiseau for no reason. All right. So opposition says I can tap a creature I control to tap uh, an untapped creature I control to tap target artifact creature or land. Okay. All right. So there's that. Dried Arbor. Uh, <laughs> So what are you tapping? <laughs> uh, oh, not yet. <laughs> I'm going to attack with Janara, Asher of War. Okay. For, uh, it's, it's just do Janara. Attack for five. Okay. Okay. And then I will uh, pass the turn on your upkeep. I'm going to use Dried Arbor to tap down your ornament. Yeah. On my upkeep? Yeah. So before you draw a card. Okay. On tap. Yep. Unless you're playing mono green. Unless you're playing his fucking deck. So, you'll still get the beginning of my upkeep. Yeah, okay. so. And I know you've got a steel overseer in hand, so. You still have a creature. Opposition is going to try to. Try, anyway, to keep you from sticking anything. I think it does. Yeah, the Chalice and one. Spoiler alert. I have a noble hierarch, so I can't cast it now. What is that? It's a, it's a so mana dork, it, it, it ramps me, but it also has exalted, and so this Janara would be attacking for more if I could. Okay. Uh, I can't, because... Chalice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna put an Ancient Tomb down. Uh-oh. Uh, he got mana, folks. I guess, uh, for now... 
Yeah, for sure. Is it yeah, crayon time? Uh, hey, Chris. Is it Karen yeah, time? You gotta you can Is it Karen time? Right. Yeah. Two, three, three four. We need a joke. Karn? Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I forgot about that one. You're good. Yeah. Uh, and then we will. That's all minus two him. Is that what I'm supposed to do with this deck? In this case, give the board. Yeah, that's all minus two him. Is that what I'm supposed to do with this deck? In this case, given the board, I think that's the correct answer. Okay. So, uh,. Here's your Karn struct. Um, All right. Which is going to be spinning I really need to get some tokens for Karn. Poor oh, guy. I have them. I just need to put them in this deck. You know, be really interesting. There's a card that I have in Commander. It's M14. It's a, it's an artifact that. It's a. In the turn, I'm going to tap it down. Okay. All right. Well, it's a. Yeah. One, two, three, four, <laughs> five. I thought I had more mana. Whoops. Uh, so he's at th three now. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you um, meaning to cast the Steel Overseer too? I don't know what it is. Yeah. Um, but um, there's an artifact that I have in my commander deck where um, you tap two untapped artifacts you control to untap a target artifact you control. Oh. Uh, it's a clock, clock tower or something. Okay. I think I know the one you're on about. And it's from M14. I know that. And I'm Tower, like, Clock of Omens or something like that. No, I don't think it's Clock of Omens, but it's close. So this is literally going to be the first time I've ever cast this card, and he's been in the deck since it was made. Sun Quan, Lord of Wu. <laughs> okay, what is horsemanship? Creatures can't block other cre creatures with horsemanship unless they have horsemanship. And spoiler alert, no other cards in this have horsemanship. So it's this weird unblockability wow, thing. Wow, okay. So it's like a it's like shadow, but without the downside of only being able to block creatures with shadow. Gotcha. Needless to say, they never brought this back, and for good reason. It's yeah. uh it's pretty strong. Also, I like the flavor that creatures riding a horse can't be blocked by creatures that fly, or creatures with reach, or creatures with anything. Uh, that's awesome. Yeah. The horse will outrun the ornithopter for crying out loud. <laughs> All right, so now I guess we will. Uh, I don't want to die, so I guess we'll attack with Janara and Venser. So that's five, six, five, seven. six, seven. Yep. Okay. All right. Put you to seven. Not, not that they can. Now creatures you control have horsemanship, so they, they, Janara is flying on a horse, and Venser poofs in a horse somehow. Yeah. And then pass turn, but on your upkeep, I'm going to tap down Ornithopter and the uh, the Karnstruct. Tap an untapped oh. creature you control? Oh, yeah. creature. Yeah, they were untapped at the time. Didn't he just come in this turn? Yeah, so even though he just... Wait a minute. I also had to tap... Oh, okay, so I messed up. Uh, you had to be tapped in order to play the uh, Sun Quan, so only Sun Quan can tap something down. My bad. But uh, opposition... It doesn't say that it's it's an ability on the creature. It's an ability of opposition. So even if they're not... Okay, yeah, so I've been playing Magic wrong my oh entire no. life. It's okay. Oh normally normally the creature can't. Mm -hmm. They, But uh, this one specifically kind of gives an exception because it's not the creature doing it. It's yeah. opposition yeah. doing it. Gotcha. I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> You're so good. I'm going to tap down your Karnstruct yeah. okay. so your Ornithopter gets to stay around. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, no. No, it's okay. It's okay. You're about to put a GT on it, but the GT won't make it stronger this turn. Uh, yeah, I I just goofed. I done goofed. So this does untap? Yeah, it, it does untap, but that one will not. Okay. Yeah, yep, you go. Did I just cost myself the game? Uh, uh. Alright, we get, because I miscounted. I have Sun Quan costs six mana. I have five lands and a Finhorn Elf. And I forgot that uh, I only needed to attack with Janara so that Vincer and Sun Quan could tap them down. That's my bad. You're good. We were, we were talking about <laughs> dad jokes or whatever at the yeah, time. Yeah, that was funny. <laughs> I really liked it. Um, Alright, let's see. I can go to one here because I don't have any blockers. And you I'm have a four power creature. Tick up Karn, so he's at four now. Okay. Steel Overseer and Desert. Which I will give you Steel Overseer. It's literally the worst form of control. It's control at its purest. Okay. Yep. So you're at four now. Yep. And you you kind of have to kill me this turn because uh, if you don't, <laughs> these guys can't be blocked. So. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to figure out. Mm -hmm. I, I don't envy you in this position, to be honest. 
three. Ah, damn it! I messed up. I should have oh, no. did his uh, <laughs> minus <laughs> ability and equipped Omazon's GT or something. No, that's still what I'm no. Yeah, because the the construct can't block either. The construct isn't riding a horse. <laughs> Don't know why that matters. It really but doesn't. It, it, does. it, it, it really should not. Like, yeah. <laughs> it, 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 God. <laughs> okay. Um. Rock paper scissors horse. Isn't it like rock paper scissors shotgun lizard or Spock or I don't even uh, know what the other ones are. Rock paper scissors lizard Spock. Lizard Spock. There yeah. we go. It was either lizard or wizard. I'm pretty sure they I said think it's lizard. lizard. Yeah. See, I just fucking knew it. <laughs> Okay, okay. I gotta do something. Um. Cap 2. Almost always detail. Oh, that's actually just the ancient tomb is 2. You don't oh, have to fire sorry. off the, uh, the so wasteland. So it deals 2 to me? Yep. Or you can use these 2 instead to save yourself the life. Whatever works. Either way, I'm gonna die if I can't block. Okay, um. Or at least gonna make you text. Like a DJ. Alright, so I'll tap those two. I used to be down. a DJ. I never did that. Thank goodness. <laughs> well, if nothing else, you can use the counters to gain four life. You get two counters, and each one gives you two life. I don't know that that saves you. It, uh, Wait, it actually what? doesn't. Okay, so Umazawa's Jute, one Whenever of the abilities. Whenever it deals damage, it gets two two, tar two charge counters, and you remove yep. one, it gives it plus two, plus two. Yep. So unfortunately, it won't help you this turn, but you could theoretically use the charge counters on a future turn. Right. Uh, theoretically is doing a lot of work in that sentence, though. Um, you can use it to gain four life, but that puts you to ten, and even, yeah, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, thirteen. Um, okay. Okay. And I gave you another overseer, so yeah. I'm going to put a Car 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 Caracas. This Caracas. is legendary. These yeah. are both legendary creatures. I know, I'm dude. trying to figure out which one to um, send back. Like, you'll just cast him next turn. You'll just cast that next turn, but it can't attack. Yeah. But that means this won't. This will go through, that'll go through, that's still six damage. Well, but yeah. If I send him back, you'll cast him, they'll still go through. So if you if you bounce Sun Quan to my hand, Janara can be blocked by your Ornithopter. Uh, the others can try to get through, but Janara would be blocked. Uh, because it's no longer riding a flying horse anymore, so... Right, but what I'm saying is if I go ahead and do it now... Yeah. You'll just cast him in your main oh, yeah, phase, yeah. and then you'll attack. Yeah, you have but to wait till next turn. You're right. Okay. <laughs> you, your, your thought process is right. Okay, so I'll pass to you. You want, want to attack? No. With one th okay, fair enough. Oh, yeah, no, no. I guess not. Um, What is that one? A five? five? It's a five five. It's a three three with two counters on it. Right. Okay. <laughs> this is a really good deck. Yeah, this is a this is an interesting spot. There's only one Caracas in the deck, so it's it's fortunate that it showed up. Yeah. Um I guess I will pay two to put a steel overseer into play, and then I'll pass turn. Fair enough. Alright. Also, Vincer is legendary, but I highly recommend not bouncing Vincer. That's that's not a good. Yeah. That's something that I try to do with the Caracas that's in my deck. Okay. So let's um, <laughs> whale. I'm at five, so uh, let's see. How about? Things I can do here. So things I can do. He's back in the command zone. All of the things I wish. Ah, oh, God, I wish. <laughs> is it eight? I'm trying to remember this deck list for a deck that I haven't played in months because there's a card in my hand that cares about what's in my deck. Oh man. Oh man. I guess you could just get the obvious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we're gonna do best oh. of one then instead okay. of best of three. Sorry about that. All right. So let's see. 
Can't attack with just one creature because Caracas will bounce it. Can't attack with too many creatures because I don't have lethal and I would die. So this is fun. Yay! <laughs> So you separate the piles and then I get to pick the pile? No, uh, you separate into the pile. And a million damage. <laughs> Alright, so, Sun Kwan, Janara. Oh, crap! Oh, you tapped the ancient tomb! Never mind, I think we win. <coughs> Swing with everybody. Uh, well, Caracas to bounce. Which one would you like to bounce? Caracas. To, to bounce Sun Kwan? Like or this. Janara? Sun Kwan. Okay, Sun Kwan is in my hand now. You can block stuff. Okay, I will block that with my Ornithopter. Okay. And I will take two, three. Well, so I, I still can pump the Janara, which is what I'm going to do. Okay. I'm going to add a counter to Janara. So she, now she's at three. So she's a six, six. So okay. she'll kill your four, six Ornithopter. Do these go away too? Uh, no, no. The, the uh, equipment stay. Okay. Uh, Gta now has two counters on it. Uh, and then, how much did you take? One, two, three, four. Hmm? Oh, oh, I guess I you, can you can block with the Overseer. You can block with Overseer. Yeah, so okay. I'll take the three. Yeah, let, let's not die. That, that yeah. would be bad. All right, now dry armor down. All right. Main phase two. A. All right. Green Sun Zenith, X equals 1. It's not countered by Chalice because it costs 2 mana here. I thought I thought X spells... So it's still counted as the 1 green, but the X does not mean anything. Oh, so in certain circumstances, yes. Like if you find it in your deck, yes. But when you're casting it, it's the mana cost that you're paying. And I'm paying green and 1, so it costs 2 mana. Somebody had told me that um, Actually, no, we'll with the X doesn't up. count for it. I'm not, I'm not sure There are why. some instances, okay. like um, when you reveal off Dark Confidant, or when you're looking in the deck or the graveyard, mm -hmm. there are instances like those where it does matter. Right. Um, I'm going to get... I'm going to check to make sure, but I'm pretty sure I know the answer. I do know the answer. It's a Noble Hierarch. I'm going to get Noble Hierarch here. Okay. Uh, your GTA has two counters on it, by the way. Because gotcha. you used it in combat. <laughs> Even though there's not a creature for it right now, it's still there. Alright. Um, and then I'm going to... Uh, uh, if you'd like to cut. Oh, sorry. Uh, no, I, you're good. I was like, why are you handing me your deck? <laughs> We're almost there. We're almost done with the night. Uh, pass turn. Thank you very much. Alright. On taps? Yep. Oh, I forgot to play this. It's okay. It's fine. Um, it's not that big a deal. Upkeep, draw. Um. Okay, so five, six Okay, so this doesn't do anything anymore because you're at yeah. one life. So. Yeah. Um. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Uh, so one, two, three, four. Ghost fire blade. Ghost fire blade. Yeah, that's a that's a big boy. So it's a. Because it's the Karn struck, yep. it's a 1, 2, 3, 4. It counts itself. 5, 6. So it's a 6, 6 yep. plus so sorry. Like, 2, 4. So sorry. It's a 10, 10. And then with two counters on it. Removing the two counters and swinging. Well, so first, before we go to. Before you. Once you. Before we go to combat, okay. or when beginning of combat, I'm going to use Noble Hierarch with Opposition to tap the creature down. It's okay, you can use one of the counters to kill the Noble Hierarch, I so that I can't that. do that in future turns. But, for right now, that is a thing. Yeah, I, I was... Oh! Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry, can I do that prior to a combat? Because it's still well, uh, got the you, two counters on it? You can, but if you do, I can respond with the Noble Hierarch. So there's not really a way in this spot. The way to have done it would have been to, last turn, use one of the counters to kill the Noble. Um, but now we know. Knowing's half the battle, G.I. Joe, da 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 Okay, so this is tapped, you swing yeah. for lethal. Yeah. So if, last turn, if you had done that at the end of I, last turn... I didn't see the to last ...to kill effect. the Noble Hierarch? Yeah, it's it's really this weird, because so it doesn't well, have to be equipped to a creature mm -hmm. to use that effect. The minus one, minus one. Yeah. It's so weird, man. But yeah, then I would actually be the one who died. Had you known. But yeah, it's a weird card. I did not see the last effect. I just seen it gets plus two, plus two, and I was like, bam. Yeah. 
I've heard some people describe Umazawa's Jite as the first planeswalker because it has three abilities. <laughs> it kind of, kind of is. So I think yeah. I might actually have one of these too somewhere. Yeah, like, this is really interesting. We both misplay, but it's also like dark thirty. It's also getting late, so yeah. this is me not blaming you one bit, man. If we went to sideboards. You didn't actually see the, the combo side of the deck. Uh, <laughs> instead of going for Captain Sisse with Greens and Zenith, I went for Noble Hierarch, so that I, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I'd have more mana, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, but, but the Chalice yeah. of the Void... <laughs> the way it's... Yeah. One drops. The way it's supposed to work... The way it's supposed to work is that you have... Paradox Engine, mm -hmm. and you know what that does. And it's yeah. a lot of good times with that card. It's banned in Commander for a reason. Yeah. Uh, Micaeus <laughs> and Captain Sisse. So, or not even just those. There's other stuff in here too. Like, uh, where's where's my Ulamog? Okay. That was cool. my hand. <laughs> yeah, jeez. All right. So you have Captain Sisse out. Mm -hmm. You play a Paradox in. You, you tap Captain Sisse, play a Paradox mm -hmm. Engine, cast another spell, whatever spell. Untap Captain Sisse. Put it into your hand? Yep. Okay. So tap Captain Sisse. We go search for another thing, play it, untap. Now you're thinking this doesn't give you mana, but Finhorn Elves, Noble Hierarch, uh, so Soul Ring. You search for a legend or legendary card and put yep. it into your hand. And yep. then you cast it the next turn? You cast, if you have enough mana, you can do it on the same turn. Yeah, but yeah you just cast a spell to untap them all. Uh huh. And eventually, you can start actually netting mana. You can gain mana each time you do it. Yeah. Uh, there's Mana Vault is in there because that also untaps. Because this it's format a, is busted. Uh, Soul Ring, same thing. So you have, I think it's 10 cards that make mana that untap with Paradox Engine. Right. Plus Sisse. So you're getting Micaeus, you're getting Vincer, you're getting Jace, you're getting Garuk. And hopefully, you're gaining enough mana each time you do it, that eventually you'll have enough mana to cast Ulamog. Right. And just win the game. Basically win the game on the spot. Blow up their stuff and say GG. Yeah. And you also have Micaeus that untaps each time. So put a counter on Micaeus, untap. Put a counter on your other creatures, untap. Put a counter on Micaeus, untap. Put a counter on other creatures, untap. It's silly. This deck <laughs> is silly when it goes off, but you have to have Sisse to go off. Oh, and like also that. Sisse can get Paradox Engine because it's legendary. So even if you only have the one piece, you can keep, you can do it. Hmm. And that one um, enchantment that says you can tap an untap opposition. Card. Yeah. So can that technically tap itself? No, because it, it has to be you tap a creature. So it can't tap itself because it's not a creature. Oh, okay. It's just it's an enchantment. Creature. I thought it said non-land permanent. Good right. question. Yeah, I wish. Dear God. Oh dear God, that would be that would be because you could just do the ones that are equipped into your. Yep. Uh, Nahiri or something, yeah. or not, not really. Your stuff. Yeah. yeah, I could use my stuff too. Oh man, <laughs> interesting. <laughs> Woo! We don't we don't need that in our lives. Yeah. I mean, uh, <laughs> all right. And then the sideboard for me is a bunch of stuff that doesn't actually exist because this deck doesn't have a sideboard. There's one sideboard card right now, Jace okay. Friends Prodigy. Um, and even then, I think it's just the second copy. It's a noodle, um, Jester's Cap. Yeah, yours actually has a sideboard. <laughs> not that it matters for best of one. Sacrifice Jester's Cap with the target player's library and remove any three of those cards from the game. That's crazy. Yeah, so if they're a combo deck that needs to have a certain creature in their deck in their yeah, in their deck or something, you just say no. <laughs> just say no. <laughs> the opponent has more than four cards in hand during upkeep. That's for control decks. Does one damage. Okay. Yep. So if they keep a lot of cards in their hand and don't play stuff. <laughs> yeah. What, what yeah. I got a Sword of Light and Shadow. <laughs> oh. Actually. Oh. Yeah. Worm Coil and I'll look that card. Yeah. That's for the mirror and a few other matchups. Like Jund. Yeah. Hobzon. Yeah. Good times. Good times with magic. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to call that a draw, kind of, because you should have beaten me, but I should have beaten you, but we both misplayed a bunch, so yeah. whatever. Hey! <laughs> <laughs>